This here is Backwoods Billy coming to the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore, getting ready for Mardi Gras, which is in Louisiana, in New Orleans, February 13th, Tuesday, 2018. So I figured a Louisiana beer would be awesome. Put my little mask on, Mardi Gras. This is my beta brewing out of Louisiana called Purple Haze. In essence, it has a uh, two row barley malt in it, a hops called Vanguard, which is really bred from Hawtaw hops. Uh, in essence, it's going to have a slight spicy character, woody, slightly herbal, like cedar. Um, you got the two row uh, barley malt in it and wheat. Typically, wheat's 5 to 20% of a grain bill. Unless it's a wheat beer, it could be up to 70%. In this case, you're probably looking at about 5%. And then you have the fruit. Now, if I was going to do a five gallon version of this, raspberries, I'd use about a quarter pound, strawberries, about a half a pound. You're looking at the flavor profile, how much water is in it, et cetera, to figure out how much fruit. Um, I actually called and spoke with the head brewer there, and he says, in essence, the beer is actually filtered, like it says, and then the raspberry puree basically goes through a, um, you know, I'm just doing the micro, I imagine it's a filter, it goes in there and takes most of the pulp out, and it actually uh, sits in a bright tank, and then they bottle it. So, unlike me, where I would put something away for like a week to ten days, they're going to immediately um, bottle this and force carbonate it. Let us take a look at what a beta has to offer here. Looking at 4.2% alcohol by volume, 13 IBUs. A little pop top, a little bit of smoke. A nice little bottle cap of beta. Anybody collects them, it's nice. Let's start our pour, 45 degree angle, very important. By the way, if you want to argue this, you can go to the American Brewers Association, and you can also go to the Craft Brewers Association. That's how they tell you to pour, same way as a draft. Also, if your glass is soap scum in it, you're going to have a problem. If you, I have to use a chemical to clean mine, I'll have that issue. Um, the beer is slightly hazy. On here, I'd actually say this is probably close to an SRM 10, between 9 and a 10. That retention is about looking real good so far. Also, if I used a wider glass and it was shorter, I'd have less head retention. If I have a narrower glass, I'd have better head retention. That's just the physics of basically how that works. But let's take a look what we got here aromatic wise. Head's going to be light, off white, ecru. Smell raspberry. Now, with the two row, you can get some bready notes with this, some biscuity, maybe even some light honey. Very, very light um, two row. And the wheat's going to give you some bready notes as well. The body is going to be on the heavier side of medium. When it's out, I've been lighter. But I actually think the body's actually on the heavier side of medium. Tart raspberry, you get that. The carbonation gives you the slight spiciness because the way uh, a lot of beers, you'll notice at lagers, it might take spice. It could be the hops, it could also be the carbonation. Um, it almost tastes like a sweet tart, the raspberry to it. It's got that type of a effect to it. 